sizzling temps the next few days are going to be hot. <laughs> With Memorial Day weekend right around the corner and pool days in our future, it is time to stock up on sunscreen. News 6 Insider Guide Crystal Moyer is here to show us which may provide the best protection. Many parts of Central Florida are hitting the 90s right now. Whether you're headed to the beach, pool, or spending time outdoors, you've got to protect yourself by using sunscreen. But which ones are the best? Consumer Reports puts dozens of sunscreen lotions and sprays to the test. Dermatologists say the best sunscreen is the one you'll actually use. And while that may be true, that didn't stop Consumer Reports from putting a variety of different sunscreens from different brands and price points to the test. We test sunscreens to see how well they protect against two types of UV rays, UVA, which causes aging and skin cancer, and UVB, which causes sunburn. As part of Consumer Reports testing, sunscreen is applied to subjects' backs. Yes, they agree to this. Then they soak in a tub for 40 to 80 minutes, depending on the product's water resistance claim. The area is then exposed to simulated sunlight. The next day, trained experts examine the area for redness. A top performer that's also a Consumer Reports best buy, Equate Ultra Lotion SPF 50. Consumer Reports also enlisted panelists to test sunscreens for scent, feel, and appearance. In our tests, we found several sunscreens that absorb quickly into skin and leave little to no residue on people of a variety of skin tones. Alba Botanica Hawaiian Coconut Clear Spray SPF 50 got kudos from the majority of panelists and also tested well in Consumer Reports overall ratings. And after numerous recalls for some aerosol sunscreens because of contamination with the chemical benzene, Consumer Reports looked for benzene in all of the aerosol sunscreens it tested. The good news is that all of the products that we tested for benzene came back negative. To check if you have a recalled sunscreen spray, you can head to clickorlando.com slash insider. And if you have one, throw it away. Consumer Reports also recommends parents choose lotion sunscreens for kids and only use sprays as a last resort because kids may inhale the spray, which could cause some lung irritation. Another thing to look out for, ladies, reef or coral-friendly sunscreens. Many will have a label on it, added protection not only for you, but our sea life. And if you're looking for a place to cool down with your kids, splash pads are great options. There are a ton across Central Florida, and the best part is many of them are free. We've got a county-by-county county guide to the best Central Florida splash pads on clickorlando.com slash insider. That is great advice, and I do want to say I did not see any brown people in that story, but brown people need it as well. I know my dermatologist mm -hmm. said that as a brown person, I wake up with SPF 15, mm -hmm. but I still need more on mm -hmm. top of that. And so many people, my relatives, I have to tell them all the time, you yeah. need mm -hmm. something. So you will burn. Yeah. And I'm so glad that Consumer Reports updates this every year. For years, I have been using that Walmart brand. Equate. Equate. It's it is the best. I have spent a lot of money on sunscreen before and mm -hmm. ended up burned, yeah. literally. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that is great stuff. And I do love that she notes to look for coral and reef-friendly mm -hmm. sunscreens, especially important here in yeah. Florida. Absolutely. And, you know, yeah. I'm translucent so I consider myself <laughs> a sunscreen connoisseur. Yeah. And if you put it on 15 or 20 minutes before you go out in the sun, yes. it makes all yeah. the difference. Yeah, and sit in the shade if you can. Yes.